This is my space. This is my craft. This is Modern Roots Kitchen. What is up and que onda everybody? Welcome back to the Modern Roots Kitchen. Today we're gonna be making some birria crunch wraps. Stay tuned. All right y'all, so traditionally birria is made with lamb or goat. Some people make it with beef. Today we're gonna be making it with lamb. So I have a, a pound and a half to two pounds of lamb stew meat and a lamb chop here as well. So I have a Dutch oven getting nice and hot on the stove, on the burner. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of kosher salt and we're just gonna season our meat a little bit. Just some straight up salt, all the other flavor is gonna come later momentarily. So we're just gonna add a little bit of salt. So we're gonna add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil to our Dutch oven. Make sure it's nice and hot. So we want to get a decent sear uh, before we braise it in the oven. That way we impart as much flavor as humanly possible. All right, so let's go get it, a sear on our lamb. Throw it in the oven, not the oven, the Dutch oven. I'm gonna get a decent crust on this. Trying to impart as much flavor as we possibly can into this meat. Got our stew meat. Try not to overlap, get as much surface area as possible to promote browning. And we're just gonna let it sit there and sear and don't touch it, don't do nothing to it. Leave it. All right, y'all, so we achieved maximum brown color on our lamb. It's called the Maillard reaction in French. So we're gonna go ahead and add the rest of our ingredients. We got half an onion here. I'm gonna toss that in. I have eight cloves of delicious garlic. I got uh, one tablespoon each caldo de tomate and comino half a tablespoon of black pepper and a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. So I'm gonna throw those into the pot just like that. I have one chile guajillo, throw that in, and one chile pasilla, throw that in. And then last but not least, four cups of vegetable broth or chicken broth or beef broth, whatever you wanna use, so I have vegetable broth on hand. All right, so boom, everything is in the pot. I got an oven at 300 degrees. We're gonna go ahead and braise this for three hours. I'll see you guys in three hours. All right, so instead of waiting three hours, I went ahead and prepped one the night before. So I do have one ready. Let's go ahead and pull that out. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this foil off. We have all of our beautiful juices. So what I'm gonna do now is separate the meat from our consomme ingredients. So I'm gonna get a pan. And we're just gonna fetch out our lamb because we're gonna shred it up. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and blend up our consomme. So I'm gonna remove our two chiles. Again, it's a chili pasilla and a chili guajillo. I'm gonna add that to a sauce pot with the remains of our half onion and whatever garlic we can get a hold of. It kind of dissipated within the liquid. And I'm just gonna pour this into our sauce pot. liquid gold and I'm gonna add a little bit of water to it 
Because again, we're making a consomme, so we want it almost like a broth. So I'm gonna turn the heat on. I'm gonna go ahead and get a stick blender and we're gonna blend it up. Beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands and we're gonna blend our consomme. Maximum flavor capacity. All right, it's blending time. All right, so let's go ahead and strain our consomme. Got it right here, nice and hot. Nice little mesh strainer. Want it nice and smooth, like a broth. So we're gonna dip our crunch wrap in it. Beautiful. Strain all the seeds out, all the chili pulp. We have a nice liquid. Amazing. Beautiful. So I have my shredded lamb right here. I'm gonna go ahead and add it to a pot. Are you guys ready to assemble our crunch wrap? I'm gonna go ahead and get a burrito sized flour tortilla and I'm gonna toss it in a skillet, warm it up nice. Skillet's not quite big enough, but we're gonna work with it. So I got all the accoutrements set up. Got some shredded iceberg lettuce, shredded cheddar cheese. This is not the bag kind. I shred my own cheese because when you buy the bag cheese, it has like this film powder cornstarch stuff on it that prevents it from melting and it makes it taste weird. Shredded cheese, cilantro and onion. I got a tostada and I got a regular sized flour tortilla, some crema mexicana, refried beans, and our consomme for dipping. All right, so we got our tortilla nice and hot. I'm gonna slap her down. We're gonna grab some refried beans, and I'm just gonna put a little bit of a spread just to kind of hold the meat there, you know, just enough beans to know it's there. And we're gonna grab some of our beautiful lamb birria. And we're gonna toss that right there, nice little thin layer. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Absolutely incredible. Gonna grab our tostada. This is the crunch within our crunch wrap supreme. Toss that sucker right there. I'll flip it upside down actually. And we're gonna go ahead with our accoutrements. I'm gonna do a little bit of lettuce. At Taco Bell, they put way too much lettuce. Taco Bell, if you're watching this, a little bit less lettuce, man. A little bit more meat. A little bit of lettuce. Some cheese. And to keep it a little bit authentic, we're gonna add some cilantro and onion right on top. Beautiful, beautiful. And the last thing is a little bit of crema mexicana in place of our sour cream. Again, Taco Bell, too much sour cream. Lay off on the sour cream just a little bit. Add just, just a smidgeroon. Beautiful. Now we're gonna grab our regular flour tortilla and we're gonna toss that on top. Boom. Now check this out. Here's where we go to the Crunchwrap Supreme. We're gonna fold it over itself. Like this. Keep moving it around until we get to this. And then boom, once you're all the way around, we're gonna seal it off in the pan. So you just flip it upside down and throw it in the pan and that's gonna seal our crunch wrap. All 
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and flip our crunch wrap. Sheesh! Look at that crispiness. Slide it around, keep it from sticking. Now see, it totally sealed and it's nice and golden brown. It won't open. Beautiful little package. It's lit. All right, guys, it's time to check out our Crunchwrap Supreme. It's nice and browned up from our pan. We're gonna go ahead and remove it. Give her a flip. Boom. All right, y'all, so we're gonna go ahead and cut this in half and uh, see what the insides look like of our Birria Crunchwrap Supreme. It looks pretty freaking good. I'm gonna go ahead and taste this joint. So we have our consomme right here. And you just dip it, just like you would your birria tacos, and go in. Mmm. God damn, that's stupid good. <laughs> that's blessing. God damn. What's up, Taco Bell? All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. It's uh, Birria Crunchwrap Supremes. This is one of my favorite things that I've made so far. My camera guy has eaten like four of them over there backstage. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up some more of these. If I'm hungry, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. You guys are awesome. See you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. See you in the next video.